Hi everyone, it's Georg Hamgewanch, co-founder of No Name Studio. Here we are showing you a brief presentation named Designing the Margin. Actually, the reason why, why we choose this name, actually coming from the title of this event, the new together. Because when we think about the new together, we are thinking about also the new margin, which recently changed tragically in our daily lives, especially during the pandemic period. And when we say the margin, also we are not talking about only the margin between people, but the margin between people and their personal and public space. Okay, this is a photo made by the photographer Matteo de Maida. You can see a series of photographs. Actually, we find it very interesting because it somehow shows us how it changed our private and personal distance. Okay, and the second photo made by Laura Barberella, it's like she's expressing a tragic moment, but it somehow shows us the, how the boundaries of our house, houses becomes the physical barriers of our private life. Okay, this is the last photo of the same team. It's, for, uh, it's a project called Inside Out. Actually, they are showing like the portraits of Milanese citizens beyond their windows and how it became the real margin of their houses. Okay, here we are presenting you three projects made by our studio, two in Italy and one in Turkey. Uh, actually, we are, we are trying to rethink about the margin. Allora, here we have one project we realized, uh, recently realized in Milano, uh, in which we, uh, in a way, try to retrieve the, the topic of uh, patio, uh, taking back the, um, this example, the house of Menander, uh, where uh, the patio was the space in which uh, all the people were gathering, the guests uh, were gathered. Uh, so what we did is to apply this topic, uh, this concept inside our project. The project is uh, uh, situated in uh, the suburban part of Milano. Uh, we uh, had to demolish uh, this old car repairing shop uh, and we substituted the old car repairing shop in uh, uh, a residential building composed by uh, three L-shaped uh, private villas. Um, the project here, uh, we, when we approached the project, we uh, immediately had to face uh, uh, different problematics. Uh, since the house, uh, the building was totally fulfilling our plot, uh, we couldn't, uh, because of Italian laws, face directly, uh, we couldn't open uh, any openings directly to uh, outside. So what we did is to excavate three uh, different solids in order to uh, create uh, a private space, but at the same time we were able to open uh, glass facades in order to bring directly life to internal space. So these are the three L-shaped uh, villas. So at the ground floor we uh, decided to locate all the, the day part. Uh, all of them uh, have been uh, uh, connected by a public, uh, a private, semi-public uh, semi, uh, corridor, which were leading uh, into the house, uh, directly passing to the patio. Uh, at the first floor, we loc decided to locate and to design all the night parts, bathroom and, and uh, bedrooms. Uh, here, the patio is the real uh, core of the, of the house. It's the center, uh, all around which all the domestic pay, uh, life uh, is living. Uh, the section uh, uh, has been designed in order not to bring uh, uh, shadow to uh, the closed uh, houses. So here is the entrance from a semi public uh, uh, courtyard, so the corridor here is leading to uh, the private, uh, each private patios. And even in the corridor, uh, uh, what we try to organize is a 
precise relation between uh, uh, windows and light in order to even emphasize by the natural light the entrance of each patio. Uh, we have skylights in the corridor uh, which are welcoming the entrance in the patio. So as I said before, the patio here is the the, is the real link uh, between the urban uh, uh, life and the private life, which is uh, becoming uh, a, a, a living room, a living room in which uh, the inhabitants can feel the, the rhythm of nature. As we have to consider that we, have in, we are in Milano, so having this kind of private and green uh, uh, field uh, uh, in our opinion, it's really a, 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 winning, a winning goal, in a way. So, even in the first floor, uh, all the, the, the corridor and the circulations have been located facing directly the patio, in order that the patio uh, is, in a way, a real uh, ruling system. Uh, the facades have two different connotations, so the south West facades have been designed by a system of opaque and, uh, and glass uh, uh, wooden facade in totally contrast with the north facade which are totally blind in order to give a certain privacy uh, to each um, private villa. So this is a, a top view. These are uh, images of uh, construction site. And this is the second project we did uh, in which we uh, try to reinterpret the topic of margin in another way. And this is the reason because we are here in Venice. Uh, it's a villa being designed more or less in the, in the, in the same period. In Carovigno, it's a city in Puglia, close to Brindisi. So the plot, uh, as more or less all of the plot in Puglia, is totally fulfilled and surrounded by olive trees, which is a sort of natural heritage. And our... Um, C'è possibilità di... Wow, wow. Bella qua. No, quasi, vabbè, insomma. Uh, si, si vede, eh? Uh, si, comunque, vabbè. Um, the access uh, to uh, this plot uh, is uh, in the north part of the plot and we decided to locate our, our villa at the very bottom of the plot, so here. Why? Because uh, there's a sort of uh, limestone walls uh, which is dividing the karst part uh, of, the, of the plot, so the lower part uh, of the plot uh, to the higher part of the plot. So this is one of the reasons why we decided to locate the villa in this natural terrain. And there's also the second reason, uh, which is the presence of the old olive trees, which is uh, one of the most uh, old, uh, century old olive trees present in the plot, uh, all around which our house have been uh, designed. So the access of the, uh, to the patio, uh, to the, um, the terrain is via a long uh, sinuous uh, path, uh, car, uh, car path, which in a way is like presenting the villa uh, only at the very end of its path. The house uh, is uh, composed by two different blocks, uh, an oblong prism, uh, which is a linear uh, division between uh, the out outer part of the plot and the terrace, uh, which is the night part, uh, which hosts uh, um, all the night part, uh, like bedrooms uh, and bathrooms. And this Prism is like uh, intercepting the, the higher volume, which is representing the day part. Uh, so in this interaction of these two um, volume, we have the entrance, more or less located in the central part of the house. Um, the house is in a way uh, growing and have been designed like following uh, the presence, so the presence of the limestone wall, uh, which is here visible in the maquette we designed, we realized, and also uh, 
uh, is like uh, embracing the old olive trees. This is very important because uh, it's one of the reasons because the footprint of this house has been defined. So in a way, the nature has defined uh, our, uh, our footprint, our architecture. Here we have a couple of views in which uh, uh, the reinterpretation of margin, so the difference between the relation between inside and outside have been emphasized by using different typologies of opening. So here is very clear how the limestone walls that have been of course reconstructed, which defines the higher part of the block towards the, the lower part of the plot uh, and the olive trees are the real uh, uh, character of the, this house. All the, uh, the day part uh, has a very strong relationship with the outside. Uh, we also have realized different typologies of windows like uh, because inside, uh, uh, for example, the kitchen, the kitchen has a very horizontal, uh, horizontal view, horizontal window, window uh, only to uh, view uh, a specific part of the olive trees. We also have uh, a skylight coming from the top, uh, which is like uh, hosting the, the winter light. And we also have another typology of windows, which is a, a more private window, which gives uh, a, a more uh, private atmosphere and private feeling uh, from the, the client to the nature, because it's a sort of patio, closed patio, which gives light directly to the bathroom, the private bathroom. Uh, and we also have another room, uh, which is a room uh, that we um, described as a sort of a yoga room. Uh, it's an open air room uh, where uh, the light comes only from the top uh, and you can really feel the rhythm of nature inside. There are no openings, just vertical, uh, vertical entrances, let's say. Uh, day part and night part, night part are totally uh, divided because on the, in the terrace part uh, only uh, the, day, the, the daily life uh, can take place and in the night part uh, is facing in the opposite way. And also we have uh, a swimming pool which is a sort of a gathering of the, the social life of the house. Ecco qua. Okay, it's another project, it's always a housing project. This time we're in Turkey, in the city of Assos. Assos is a city on the Aegean coastline, quite famous with its, with its antique port. This time, like how we studied patio, like Andrea told the other projects, this time we tried to study the, some architecture elements from coming from the traditional Turkish house, such as taşlık. Taşlık means in Turkish, the place made by stone, because that time, the street was made by stone, that stone pavement was continuing on the inner side of the house. So it's like a sort of a filter space between the public and private life. These are some photographs of our terrain. You can, as you can see, there's very sloppy terrain, but we wanted to use that terrain, that sloppy terrain, to, in order to give this spectacular Aegean seaside view to the each houses. Here you can see the master plan. The entrance of the project is on the north side where we have the highest level. And as you can see that terraces, how we deal with the sloppy terrain. These are the diagrams how we structured the project. For example, if you look on the second row, the second uh, left diagram, you can see a pedestrian walkway which connects each houses. But every time it touches the houses, you can find that filter space as we call it Hmm? Ah, okay. It's very simple section. You can see the visual connections and the privacy. Another section. This is another perspective views, layouts. Which is the core of the images? You finished? Okay, this is the very important okay. image of the Thank you. You finished. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.